Hey everybody, it's me Donna. Hey everybody, it's me Donna. Well, I'm sitting here in the kitchen and um I did go outside for a little bit, but I was gonna go to the store but I didn't go yet. I'm being bad. I should have went but I didn't. So I think I'll I'll just get some stuff done tomorrow. Tomorrow I gotta go out anyway, so I might as well get some of the stuff done tomorrow. And um yeah, so I'm not really I'm not I'm being kinda lazy today. And, um, I should have went to the store because I want to get more water and some other stuff. I want to get some stuff just in case that we were to, I mean, if this stuff started happening in Maryland, it's probably already started happening in Maryland. I just don't know. Um, I do want to go get some, like, some stuff from the dollar store. And I want to go to, um, uh, Five Below and um, I need to go to All Day's grocery store and get some food and stuff. So I haven't done any of that stuff yet. And, um, sorry, moving the camera back. But, um, yeah, so I am kind of worried because it's in New York now. The coronavirus is in New York. And um, I don't know if anybody died in New York yet or not but i just know that people are, they're sick in new york there's some people there in the hospital we don't even know how bad this stuff is i mean china they were hiding their reports and stuff they ain't showing you everything i mean there's somebody guy came on my um youtube videos and and i tried to watch it and when i was watching it it left really fast and stuff i think it was that doctor that was over there and he was telling people about the virus and stuff and then they all got upset with him and stuff and um so anyway so i am sitting here here in the kitchen and um yeah so um my family my grandmother was her family was farmers and my dad was farmers but me and my brother, we weren't farmers. So we're like the first generation to not be farmers in our family. Yeah. And see, there's like less and less farmers, right? And then, um, okay, another thing you have to worry about is the dollar store. The dollar store, a lot of the stuff comes from the dollar store. It's coming from Japan. I mean, China. Yeah. And then, um, you know, like they got stuff in the grocery stores and stuff. And the other stores like um like Five Below and stuff, and a lot of that stuff is coming from China. So you know that the prices are gonna jump up. They're gonna jump up. And then right now the stock market's not doing that great. What in the world is going on? I mean it's horrible. It almost seems like like somebody out there kind of like planned this because of where it's located at and stuff where they had this happen at. It's like all the airplanes run through there, and then like there was a then I watched one video where there was like a list of different departures and they were all to different states and stuff and like different places in the world and stuff. And, um, that's kind of scary. That is really kind of scary. Um, but anyway, but I um, mean, just try to take really good care of yourself, like get some vitamin C. Like I take vitamin C. Well, I try to every once in a while. I'll take vitamin C. I get the pack of vitamin C that with the minerals and stuff in it. And I take that in the winter time. I also get ginseng. And I take that. Which I try to take it. But sometimes I forget. I get gems, ginseng. And then I oops, sorry. This knocked over my phone. Sorry about that. Knocked over my phone. And then, um, yeah. So then I got some vitamins too. Like I got garlic pills. And I got, um ginger and i got um golden seal and stuff because golden seal is supposed to be really good for colds and stuff but that doesn't mean it's going to keep it away it might help it to make it less or something hopefully but anyway i was thinking another thing you guys could do if you wanted to see this i got this bottle at the dollar store right so the bottle and, and so instead of buying like a full price cleaner or something, we just put a little bit of bleach in the bottom and then the rest of it is water. And then you can spray this on everything. But you could also use vinegar and water. Vinegar will kill a lot of stuff. And then salt, salt, um, like you can soak stuff in salt water, you know, 
Or you could put salt, some salt in a bottle and make it warm and then put a bunch of water in it. And I'm sure that that would probably kill some stuff too. Because they use salt. When you cook and stuff, You a lot of times, like when you cook a chicken, you, you um like clean, when you clean your chicken, you put a lot of salt inside of it. And that's supposed to like keep bacteria and stuff down. So, um... So yeah, so salt water would be really good. You could clean stuff with salt water, but you could also clean stuff with vinegar water. Or just use a lot, well you could use like a, a more vinegar than um, when I said about the um, bleach. But yeah, bleach is really cheap and you could get a bunch of bottles like that and just fill them up. But remember to write what you're putting on the bottle, you know, write what you're putting on the bottle. See, this says water and vinegar, but right now it's this water. And, um, yeah, so that would be really good. You could do that. That would be really good. And then, um, just remember, well, I haven't even went to the store yet. I don't even know what it looks like out there. Hopefully it's not bad. You know, I haven't went. I'm going to go out tomorrow. I got some stuff I got to do, so I'm going to go out tomorrow. And because I kind of, kind of like to, um, I don't. I have a low income, so I kind of like trying to stretch stuff, stretch my finances, like, because the gas and stuff, I mean, I have to really kind of budget, I have to budget a lot, I have to behave myself, so yeah, I have to stretch stuff, so, um, oh yeah, and then you can get a vitamin book, see this vitamin book, how much was this thing, okay, this was, uh, eight dollars but it's probably more and it was one of my mom's and she gave it to me but it has a lot of stuff in it and it's really good and i will write it down for you guys but it's a little vitamin book and it talks about your immune system um like if you have stomach problems um you know like if you're ha about your hair your nails um you know, like if you want to quit smoking, my mom had one for smoking, and she took a lot of vitamin C when she quit smoking and stuff, so it's just something to think about, yeah, but yeah, they used to, they had an older version of this book, and my mom liked the older version better than the newer version, but this would work too, I mean, you could use this book too, and then you can get some um, herbal books at the, um, like, Goodwill and stuff, I like herbal books. I mean, and they can teach you a lot of stuff, too, about health and stuff. Yeah. So, anyway, I was going to read you guys a Bible verse today. I was going to read you Psalms 18, 1 through 3. And that's what I was going to do. And uh, this is going to be my video for you guys today. And I hope, hope y'all are having a really good day and or a really good night. And uh, you will subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And write me, write me a letter if you want to. Write me a note. Send me a postcard or something. You know? I would like that. It would be really cool. You know? I like it. Let's see. Let's see. Psalms 18. I think I'm, I'm behind here. 18. Here we go. Okay. 18. So the pages are sticking together because they're... I've seen this Bible I really like. And it was... The print was bigger in it, but it only had, like, the songs in it and stuff, and the Proverbs and stuff. And I really wanted that Bible, but it was, uh, where was it? Oh, I seen it, um, at this place that I went to one day. And I really liked that Bible, and I took a picture of it, but I really wanted it. It says, um, Songs, uh, 18. For the direction of music, David, the servant of God, he sang to the Lord the words of this song when he was delivered him from the hands of all his enemies from the land of uh, Solomon. Sol Sol he said, I love you, O God, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, and my God is my rock in whom I take refuge. He shields me. He is my shield, my the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise, and and I am saved from my enemies. And then that's all I'm going to read of it because I think that's uh, pretty good. And um, I hope you all like it.
because that's a really good, um, you know, I'm sorry about the kitchen. <laughs> See the kitchen here. Okay. Remember, I got to get teeth in August. Yeah. If everything works out. I hope we don't get no plague. Oh, my God. Epidemic, plague, whatever you want to call it. Pam and Pam or whatever. Yeah. Oh, my God. Just uh, take good care of yourself and try try to stay healthy. Because it seems like they're talking about your immune system and stuff. They're talking about your immune system and stuff. So be really careful. I love you all and I hope you all are having a really good day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. I kind of feel like Pee Wee Herman. Bye. <laughs>